My name's David and I'm a police officer at the South Australia Police Road Safety Centre. I'm here today to talk about safety around children's school crossings. Children's crossings are located in and around school zones to provide a safe place for students and everyone attending schools to cross roads safely during busy traffic periods, especially drop off and pick up times. In South Australia we have three types of school crossings. Emu crossings, koala crossings and pedestrian activated crossings. Each crossing is designed around the amount of traffic using the road. But the key to safety at all school crossings are the students, staff and volunteers who are fully trained as traffic crossing monitors for this critical safety job. At Emu and Koala crossings, monitors stand on either side of the road and use a stop sign to hold pedestrians and then to stop vehicles for when pedestrians are crossing. When the signs are horizontal, they act as a barrier to prevent pedestrians from crossing. Pedestrians are not allowed to cross the road until traffic has stopped and the monitors say it is safe to do so. When the traffic monitor lifts the stop sign up vertically towards traffic, all vehicles must stop and allow pedestrians to cross. Let's look at some important do's and don'ts around children's school crossings. For drivers, please remember, always stop for the stop sign. When crossing flags are present at emu crossings, or the lights are operating at koala crossings, but there are no monitors at the crossing, you have to stop for any pedestrians waiting to cross the road. Vehicles must not move away from a crossing until pedestrians are clear of the crossing or the stop sign is lowered. Never stop on a crossing. Vehicles must not pass the white line if there is no space to exit the crossing. This includes dropping off and picking up of children. Always adhere to the speed limits. Never overtake in the crossing zone and never do a U-turn in the crossing or over the continuous line. And for pedestrians, please remember, do not cross the road until it is safe to do so. For cyclists, skateboarders, e-scooter riders or similar, it is safer to walk across the crossing rather than ride. Make sure you pay attention when crossing the road and don't distract the traffic monitor to prevent them from doing their job. If you're near a crossing, do not cross the road at any other point within 20 metres of the crossing. So remember, all road users, including pedestrians and students, can help to keep these crossings safe by following the rules and setting a good example. School crossings are there to keep everybody safe at busy periods of the day and are operated by students and volunteers in their own time. If you would like more information, please go to the SA Police website and click on the road safety link.